Rocky. Ugh. Which song? Well, I'm sure it'll come up. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. Take it, Mom. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water no matter how hard I try. Get it, Cody. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. All together! See the line in the sky means the sea it it holds me. me. And then the house, how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me. When they no, go. No. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Dang, Cody, you got a beautiful boy. What's up, everybody, and welcome. Nope. Uh, nope. nope. I, I'll never do it correctly, Cody. Hello, survivors, Hello, and everybody. welcome to another episode of Let's Die Revenant, the His vs. Hers Guide to the Apocalypse. And today we are talking about the Pacific Island Apocalypse, the Moana Apocalypse. I don't know what exactly the, like, I know we talk about Moana, but I don't, the, the overarching is a question, so... Uh, there, take it, take it from there. I in the it. world of Moana, uh, I actually know the, like the, what do they call it? Is it like the blight is slowly creeping throughout the world and killing all the plants and driving living creatures to death. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Because the, the heart of defeat is, has been stolen by Maui. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, my, <laughs> get it? Well, my name is Brett. That one is Cody. Uh, and the other one there, that's my mom. Mom, say hi. Hi, mom. Welcome back. It's been at least a year since the last time you were on the show. Has uh, it? Yeah, and, uh, uh, in my mind, it's the only way I can cope. Okay, but, <laughs> yes, uh, what? terrible at D&D. So, uh, so how are you, mom? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you for uh, having me back. I know uh, I'm a big favorite. I'm just uh, staring at the water, uh, trying to wonder if I'm my father's daughter, because for as long as I can remember, no matter how hard I'll try, I'm going to record an episode of, of Let's Die. Wow, you rhymed. I'm so proud of you. Uh, Mom, you're famously Filipino. Famous. Famous for it. Half Filipino. I know, you're half, and I'm mostly white. Uh, thanks for that. But, but, um, but that means that you're also your quarter. Yeah. So. Um, I sure am. So accept I. your Pacific Islander heritage. I, I don't not accept it, but I also don't know it very well because I've never been to the island. Mama you Q? have been to the islands. You were born on the island. It doesn't count, though. You can't say you ain't been when you were born there. Just because you can't remember doesn't mean it wasn't so. The True. the memory is... of my ancestors, of course, within my veins, waiting to be tapped, to be Mom, chosen you... by the ocean. Mom, do you miss island life? Do you Mom, do you miss island, Mom, uh, you miss island life? Mom. Some of it, not all of it. What what do you like about island life? What is first off, three part question. What is island life? Two, what do you miss about island life? And three, what do you not miss about island life? Go. Um what I miss about it is the weather. Okay. The ocean and the water. I've been staring at the edge <laughs> The of islanders, the water. family, um and how beautiful it is. Okay. What I don't like about it is, is the prices it costs to live there because everything has to be shipped in. But 
you know, I haven't been back in many years, so. And what is island life? What does that mean? Means you don't ever have to wear a pair of jeans. Oh, I like that. And wear slippers and no hoodies. You don't own a coat. Yeah, I like this. Less clothes, the better. Yeah. Maybe sure, that's why definitely. I hate winter so much. And wear it is. You have your hair wear clothing. Yeah. Your heritage of being born in Hawaii. I can barely you know? tolerate this t shirt I'm in because it has sleeves. But I thought <laughs> I'd mix it up since I'm my fat ass is always in like bulging out of tank tops. I thought I'd cover myself up a little bit more. What are you looking at, Cody? That's so damn interesting. Oh, um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's uh, pictures of crabs, because I'm sure we're going to get into some crabs. Uh, probably a little bit of coconut nuttiness will probably occur later in this episode. Mom, uh, Cody, you both saw this movie, I'm fairly certain. Mm -hmm. uh, spectacular film. Mm -hmm. uh, not one for one, um, like Polynesian mythology but it borrows extraordinarily heavily from it uh what did you all think about it jesus take the wheel cody go um i really liked it i really love the music and i love that they like had a really good cultural um they like wove the culture into the music and the a lot of the aesthetic of the um movie i uh I'm trying to remember what the animal companions. It's the pig and the rooster. Hey, hey. It's whatever. And, um, and, and uh, bacon and eggs. However, the <laughs> freaking... Uh, the grandma messed me up, for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, but the grandma was so sweet. She was really sweet. But I, like... I think, I think of movies... New, modern Disney movies. I think more along the lines of, like, what was the pivotal relationship in the movie um like the foundational relationship like in brave it wasn't a romance it was about the mom mm -hmm. um and the daughter being and turned like, into a bear being turned into a bear and i like took my mom like i went and saw it and then i immediately took my mom to it because i was like i Aww. love you and i want you to see this. i want you to turn into a bear mom no um how's she doing by the way can we call her she probably work <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> So, yeah, in this thing. one, I thought that the uh, that the pivotal relationship was about the mom and the grandma, or sorry, Moana and the grandma, mm -hmm. um, because the grandma was the one that was like, be yourself, like, you don't have to fit in, like, you know. Um, I guess. I, I, I kind of more, I mean. not to be with her. Obviously, yes, that's like the main pivotal relationship of the story, other than Moana and Maui themselves, I reckon. Uh, yeah. But I would argue Moana's primary thing is uh, familial obligation and yeah. and how her heart led her astray from what the family expected her to do, mm -hmm. which is, uh, yeah. Um, and then the other one, the other major one being just Maui kind of um, – dealing with himself and coming to terms with what he did and mm -hmm. also overcoming his own insecurities. So yeah. Maui's relationship with Maui, I guess. Mom? Maui in the mirror. What? I'm looking at the Maui in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. By Maui Jackson. Okay, thanks, Mom. <laughs> amazing welcome. amazing <laughs> review. I mean, I've seen a lot of nice movies. <laughs> Thanks. Great. <laughs> I've seen okay. a lot. I've seen a lot of nice movies. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's a mom. cartoon. It's it's an animated film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, did did watching it invoke anything of the island culture that you grew up with that I was so cruelly robbed of? <laughs> no. No, you didn't feel like any sort of. Um, well, maybe not necessarily pride, but uh, some sort of connection to the movie on a deeper level than a three-quarter white man. No, I like how they portrayed her. Huh? Like how they portrayed her. She uh, looked Hawaiian, and um, Grandma um, always doing um, the hula. I like that. I like that she didn't have to be a boy 
to help the villagers or lead the villagers. Well, Disney princess movies go usually the leads a female character, by and large. Yeah. Um, yeah, but she wasn't fighting for that. Uh, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. You're I'm welcome. Looking, I'm looking through all the, all uh, the stuff. I did like the crab stuff. when he sang Shiny. Oh, Jemaine she, Clement is amazing, for sure. From um, Flight of the Concords. Flight of the Concords. And Mom, you mean Tamatoa. Yeah, Tamatoa. From the realm of the uh, monsters. Shiny. Do you want to sing that song next? No, I can't sing. It's not about like singing good. It's about having fun and hopefully. I'm glad it's not about singing good because I'm pretty sure I was off key during my catching. A, a no, you're the her. best one. You're the best one out of the three of us for sure. <laughs> I still think I was um, off key. I don't really. Wait a minute. Are you Filipino? Wait, there's a key? Am I what? Are you Filipino? No. You connected so beautifully with the song. No, I am. Oh, so you gosh, stole our heritage. Got yeah, it. Yeah, I'm French. Oh, uh, you French brought. Canadian and. Okay, yeah. Native. There is a French have, Polynesian. I do have some Native American in my in my blood. So you're um, you're the reason why the pig got to the island. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Uh, are you one of and those? We always joke. We always joke because, like, I also have German in my background. So, like, I always mm -hmm. joke that the French and German sides of me are always warring. Um. Mm -hmm. So. Are you know. like one of those like um people that are like, hey, I'm two percent Cherokee? No. I no, I actually, I'm actually like, apparently there's enough in me that I could claim it. Um, but I don't because I don't partake in the culture at all. And I don't, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to benefit fair. from something we, that I don't do. Growing up, my but, grandfather was always like, oh, your, your great grandfather was a full blood Cherokee. And then yeah, no. my mom and dad both did the 23 and me thing and has not a single drop of native blood in them whatsoever. So like, yeah. what? That wait a minute, did we just realize that great grandma cheated on great grandpa? <laughs> is that what that means? Because he looks Cherokee in the pictures. It Cody, it was back in a time when you took pictures uh of them in the casket, because it you know, that to remember them by. Like <laughs> so, like sense. I've seen a picture of great great grandpa or whatever, it dead in his casket, and he looks like a Cherokee man. Or at no, least he's just got very dark hair. That's all. Do you think he was a white guy? I think he's a white guy. They're from Europe. And then, and then Grandpa just somehow was like, he's tanned up pretty good. He must be native. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where he got that story. Who knows? I mean, you know, everything some... passed down. So, I once knew a guy in uh, junior high whose whose stepdad was like the whitest Irishman you ever saw, but literally <laughs> changed his name to like Thunder Hatchet or something, something crazy, Wild Horse or something like that. So whenever you call, you'd see it on the. Uh, you see mm -hmm. it on the, uh, you know, I'm not saying the actual name, of course, but you'd see it yeah. on the um, caller ID. It'd be like John Wild Horse. And I'm like, okay. And he had like, he had like Native American stickers all over his car and stuff. Like I said, just the most Irish man I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, Moana. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I I really liked the connection between the grandma and the and Moana. Yeah. And then, um, I really the, like that, that part was the the part where the sea turtle comes up to her, or no, manta ray um, comes up to her uh, in in the middle of the movie. That I oh yeah, good. yeah. The... And then um, and then I really liked how you know she didn't have to like how the resolution was like she, it. You thought that it was like, oh, she's gonna go like kill this monster, mm. um, but that's not not how it ends. And I probably really... one of my favorite scenes in any movie of all mm -hmm. time is that slow motion walk to Taka while oh, she's I, I singing. Ball. Oh, it's so powerful, time. and the way that they designed it when Taka rolls up on Moana, and it's just—I mean, it, it's silent, but like, uh, it's like, like the what, mom? It's like they had a connection. I guess, but like Taka like rolls up on her and you see like the smoke and the fire and the anger, but like you don't hear it because it's playing, mm -hmm. it just deaf to that and you're just hearing the music and Moana sing to her. And then like in that moment, like Taka 
like has a moment of realization. It was so cool. Um, but yeah, like the grandmother and the familiar stuff is kind of the setup. And then the rest of the, the pretty much the rest of the movie is just the journey of finding Maui and returning the heart of defeaty, um, which, cause we've barely talked about any of that and we get to see a lot of neat, um, things like the coconut people. The coconut. Nope. Yeah. Nobody remembers the coconut. People. Yes. The like coconut. all of the people in the beginning, the little pirate guys. No, they're chasing try for to steal them. the heart. Yeah. I, I didn't think they're, I thought they were cute, but I don't think they were very mean. Looking. They are the Kakamora. They're not supposed to look, be particularly mean looking. Like they're literally adorable coconut gremlins. They are adorable coconut. I think the crab was probably more dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kakamora or murdering little pirates like uh, Maui called them are actually based on an actual uh, mythological like cryptid type thing. I thought like every pretty much everything in the movie was based on some type of mythology. Um, I think so. Um, and it seems it seems like a myth, like a Polynesian myth, you know, that that he stole the heart and you have to bring it back. And like, like it just it reads like some type of creation myth. I or... did read that Maui was a true god, god demigod, yeah. demigod. And he did bring the islanders the sun and made the islands and all that stuff uh so in pacific culture the kakamora are known as little creatures that live in the forests and in caves uh you can basically think of them as small personifications of mother nature and they are believed to guard the forests they have little love for humans and the stories tell tell us that they are even believed to eat human beings when they're peckish so not that, exactly like they're depicted in the film for sure is that like the kodama and princess mononoke I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Don't the little me. things, the little like creatures that like spit. Oh their head yeah, their but those don't eat people either, do they? Um, no. It just says that they're unnamed creature, unnamed creatures from Princess Mononoke. Mm. They're children of old trees and are a sign that the forest is healthy. Oh, so interesting. Um, Tamatoa is the one I was going to say. I'm not sure if that one like is that just a giant crab like obsessed with treasure? Like I don't know. Um, I don't know if that yeah, was actually based on uh, Pacific Pacific Island myth. What, Mom? I don't think he's a myth. Um, it says here the um, character is entirely fictional. Um, but that the name Tamatoa means trophy in the Mayo. Are we language. on the same article? That's funny. We probably are. I think we are. Uh, yeah, so Tamatoa is a, a fictional one, but the Kakamora are legit. At least a little bit. And, of course, Maui. Like mom, mom was talking about, and Maui's fish hook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just don't don't make fun of me. I'm googling. Who's making fun of you? We would never. You would always. I would never. How dare you? Have we met a person that has not seen the movie? What? Uh, uh, no. How many times have we seen the movie? Let's go around the room, and whoever has seen it the most wins. It'd be I'd you, Brett. Then. Yeah, it'd be you, Brett. I mean, can you give me a ballpark? Twice. Twice? Okay, Mom. Um, every time you have it on my television, twice. <laughs> I've seen it m over 50 times. I know you've got all the songs memorized. You don't even have to put the lyrics. I, up, I do not have up. the songs memorized. I just want to be clear. It's one of those things where, like, when you're watching the movie, it kicks into your brain and you suddenly know the words. But when you're not watching it, you can't remember them for the love of God. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I've seen it over well over fifty times. Was a uh, was a great time, honestly. A really, you know, you ever heard of Moana and Chill? It's a real thing. No. Anyway, uh, if if there's nothing else that that we have any final closing uh, arg arguments, no, we're not arguing. Any final closing I think, remarks? I think the only thing that I would like to say is that I I I am excited for Disney to do more of this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and have like oh, with, I agree. With, like Encanto and things like that, like more movies that are based on real cultures not white european princesses but like 
real stories with real people from real cultures that exist in the world across the world um and highlighting the diversity of the world i think is amazing and and also um, they announced a live action moana very recently wow the rock did with his two get did you not see that no i didn't yeah the rock no, i did see that the... Johnson <laughs> i did hear that daughter. like his daughter like he offered to like sing a song for his daughter or something and she was like you're not doing it right he was like, <laughs> i'm literally maui that's pretty funny <laughs> i am literally this person that is me and then the, da the daughters are probably like no your dad but uh folks uh while cody goes crazy uh we're going to take a quick break when we come crazy. i'm not going crazy or insane uh, Mom, you got anything? Any last? Yeah, I know you guys are talking about Moana, but have you seen um, the little mermaid? No. Have you Co seen the brave little, little toaster? toaster? Can you let her finish, please? But how did that traumatize you? By the way, I don't know how that traumatized you. That... How do you? How does the brave little toaster not traumatize people? It's the heater horrifying. or the AC or whatever he is. He's the air conditioner. Horrifying. <laughs> I didn't think it was horrifying. horrifying. I'm an adult. He has like a horrible death sequence. I yeah, they're watch like now. crushing yeah, cars to death, like living cars to death, and like all the yeah. cars are saying lamenting, <laughs> lamenting that they not real. Yeah, but the cars in the movie are alive, and like they're literally trying to start so they can escape, and they, they can escape. Yeah, it's horrifying. Like, and they can't. And they're just drugged to the crusher to die. It is okay. brutal. Okay. okay, but anyway, and they come out as like little blocks. It's Horrifying. a little anime short on Disney. It's called Lava, and it's also oh. based. It is sung by Hawaiians, and it's the song is, I love the song. It's I lava 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 you. Yeah, and it's an old volcano singing, wanting company, and then he sees a young volcano. Oh yeah, I've seen. I've seen. That. That's one of my favorites. Is it? Isn't have... that like the short that was before the movie? Yes, way before the movie. That's and really cute. I really like that more than Moana. <laughs> All right. Well, well. Thanks for joining us today, Mom. You're welcome, uh, son. I love, I love you. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you. So I love much. you. No one, little Cody Hawaii loves little baby. Coda lavas no one as much as that little puppy she's holding. If you're watching on YouTube and Spotify, Mom, do you have any last thing you want to say before we let you go and take a break? No, this movie is wonderful. It's beautiful, and if anyone ever had the chance to go to Hawaii, you need to go. Yeah, I wish I could, but I'll never get to. I've the flowers are just. I was raised in the mountain. I'll die in the mountain. Yep, I've been to Hawaii twice, and Jeff and I are actually talking about going in uh, October. Thanks for yeah. inviting me. Yeah, you're well, not invited. We'll see you guys on the other end of this break. Nope, it's you're not sharing your audio. Squirting test subject from the regeneration tube. Lathering test subject in testing oil. Squeezing test subject into the test area. Thank you, Mom Pewter. We are back from our break. Cody, uh, I got great news. Is it that you're getting mom pewter to say words that are not squirting? Because that is a yikes. For I know some people have a reaction to that word. I'm not one of them. Squirt, squirt, squirt. What, what about sea squirts? They're a legitimate animal. Those are cute. Those they are, are cute. cute. They're little but sea the squirts. act of like thinking of something squirting. You squirt is... ketchup from a bottle. Look, I'm not Correct. here to debate. Uh, semantics. Semantics? We're not debating, debating semantics. Seaman. We're just talking about semantics. The fact that there are some words that are not great. I didn't look. I didn't tell her to say those words. She's an AI, perfectly capable of right, forming just, her own words. I just want other words, but I'm assuming that's not your good news. What's your good news? Oh, my good news is that security Nick actually caught one of the Nicks in the walls. What? 
it i yeah i for sure i think that this is a ruse i think that he's gonna turn here soon you think this is part of like a grander scheme yeah he's trying to win our um our favor and like prove that he's a oh good i was gonna say it's like a long con like they yeah they, they caught a nick to put back in the simulation so that they could get something out of the simulation that had not even crossed my mind. I just thought he was trying to get on our good side. But anyway, well, what would so they which, need? which Nick, which wall Nick? Did oh, he catch? I, I, you know, well, they are they're all identical for the most part. You know, they're all Nicks, so they all look exactly the same. Handsome, six foot two, two hundred pounds, solid muscle. Yeah, um, beautiful, but like beautiful men. Did, was he carrying anything? Because I think one of them had. A, a, you know like a time piece like a friggin oh i don't think it was that one i okay, i because i think that one would probably not have been caught no offense to security nick right but i feel like the one that can stop or rewind time is that one's gonna be a real a real a real splinter in our paw if you will probably it, for a long is time is the time dilation machine that he has active in our world as well i thought it was is, a simulation thing is that what we're calling it I don't is remember what we called it? Is is is, is, is our it? world real? Is is is. Uh oh, someone's peeking behind the veil. Look, let's just not think about it any further. Um, okay. no, I think it's uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the scar on his neck, it's the Nick Bro from the Scream simulation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, I'm glad like we got that. him back. I also liked him. So that I can squirt him into the testing set, Ugh. testing arena. Ruined it. You ready to begin the simulation? Sure. Control Nick is is up there and has already launched another, Nick Bro. Another one. Yes, uh, we've another established one. we we established Control Nick last week. No, you oh. did. You didn't tell. You did not I, communicate. We this. literally had an argument for it when when I threatened to bring you to file a report with you with HR Nick. They're going. We're gonna wake up one day in the simulation. Are we already in the simulation? Like I said, let's no longer question it, and let's just forget that we even said that entirely. Well, I forgot that we said. Yeah, one hundred percent. I forgot. Look, so, valet whatever. Nick. Valet Nick is outside with the car, waiting for us to take us take us to the control room. There's just so many. At least they're handsome. And they're beautiful men, I gotta say. Uh, Nick, you wake up uh, on a raft floating along this gorgeous blue ocean, the sun bearing down on you, but it's not like super duper hot or whatever, you know what I mean? It's bearable. It's nice. It's, it's a tropical sun, but you're not like scorching, at least not yet. Uh, you're on this raft. It's got a sail. Um, it's pretty stable, I should add. Uh, so it's not like um, flotsam or jetsam, if that's what you were thinking. Um, but this is a very sturdily constructed raft with a sail uh, and a rudder. Um, it's got a little compartment filled with fruits and a chicken, a live chicken, I should say. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I start out by being very surprised uh, that I'm on a raft. Whoa. Bro, this this isn't the cruise I booked. What the <laughs> hell, dog? <laughs> what the hell, dog, indeed? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's see if you see anything, shall we? Yes, because looking around comes next. Uh, you don't see anything, but you do uh, have a gentle breeze um, upon the wind. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, I guess I am going to look around the boat. You said there's a chicken. Mm -hmm. Start hey, by hey. naming the chicken. What's up? Hey, hey. Bro, is this chicken talking to me? Yeah. Hey, hey. You, you uh, look, uh, lunch never talked to me before, bro. What's still going on? Hey, hey. The chicken just stares at you uh, with, it, like, its eyes don't even face the same way. Like, they're very, like, boop, like, going in different directions. It's very nothing in the head, dirt face chicken. Hey, hey. That's rough, buddy. Hey, hey. Call you Josh. Hey, hey. 
All right, the chicken doesn't seem to have anything uh, useful to add to the conversation, so... Josh the chicken does not have anything useful to say to the conversation. And if, if anything, it's just saying, hey, hey, as it walks back and forth in the compartment, just bouncing off the walls like a bumper car. It hits one side, like a, or like a Roomba. It hits one side, turns around, walks the other, hits that one, turns around, walks back, hits the other one, and just, hey, hey. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and see if there's a any way to steer and b uh, any way to find direction. Uh, well, uh, you do have a rudder towards the rear of the craft. You also have a sail, uh, and you have yes. a, a a breeze, a wind, if you upon the a wind upon a wind upon the wind, as as the kids say, fairly certain. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, uh... Is there anything I don't I don't have like a any kind of viewing instrument, no binoculars or like spyglass or anything? Afraid not. Um, okay. You check your pockets, your effects, and you do in fact, however, find the heart of Tafiti, a green, uh, like almost jade, actually very much like jade, uh, oval egg shaped stone that is spirals from the outside towards the middle and it has like a glowing ethereal otherworldly um light like kind of within it like it feels special even well i don't know what this thing is but it feels special yo hey hey put it back, <laughs> I put it back in my pocket and uh i guess i'm uh for lack of anything else better to do, like uh, I'm going to try to catch the wind with the sail and see if I can get going somewhere. Cody, can you give me a roll for that? Sure can. 16. 16. Mm -hmm. uh, you do, in fact, you are, in fact, able to harness. You, 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 uh, is it batten the hatches or unbatten them? I don't know. I'm not a pirate. Uh, <laughs> you let loose your sails and you catch the wind and the rudder takes you to where you want to go and you follow the wind for some time, uh, approximately, I don't know, a hundred meters when in the distance you spy a island. Hey Josh, does that look like an island to you? Hey, hey. Yeah, I thought so. So I'm going to do my best to steer towards it. Maybe I can find a buddy. There too, my man Wilson. You see, you see um, some storm clouds approaching um, from behind the island, uh, but they, they probably won't be anything to worry about for at least a little while. Um, you eventually are able to maneuver your craft to the island where it touches down on the sandy shores. This island. Nick is gorgeous. It is a paradise. There's palm trees and beautiful foliage throughout, like a beautiful sand beach, pristine, you know, not like whatever beaches we're used to around here. Like, there's not mm -hmm. a plastic bottle in sight. Um, Lovely. That's, there's that's also nice. no seagulls or anything like that. Uh, lots of boulders, rocks, rock formations, things like that. Well, that's kind of weird. But uh, all right. Um, I'm gonna look around, check the uh, check to see if there's any conveniently placed coconuts I could get a snack from. Um, you're checking around, Cody. Can you give me a roll, please? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So you're searching a nearby alcove when uh, suddenly you hear the thudding of some rather large footprints um and you see nearby your raft just is becomes entirely lifted off the ground as someone cheers with delight uh cody do you want to do you want to jump in here in fact it's codeo oh my god <laughs> okay demigod uh... of the wind and sea Sweet, a boat. I wonder if there's any cool rocks under here. <laughs> uh, Kodeo is definitely concerned with uh, cool rocks and bugs and whatever yeah. they can find underneath the boat that's literally just washed up moments ago. Never mind that they've been trapped here for centuries. 
presumably. You never know. Um, yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, Kodeo does not find uh, anything of note other than sand and water Aww, underneath said boat. However, <laughs> the chicken, Hey Hey, comes tumbling out and plops down on the sand. Hey Hey! Oh, sweet. Can I eat this? You can try. Hey, don't eat, don't eat my chicken, bro. That chicken's just like a chicken to me. Whoa, who are you? My name's Nick, and this is my boat, so I'm going to have to ask you to be careful with it, dog. It gets me every time. <laughs> every time. Um, wow, a human. I am, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not a dog. Uh, but, hi. But you could be. But, I, but I'm not. You could be. But I'm uh, not. You both see each other, and it appears as though neither of you are hostile whatsoever. Um, Nick, what would you like to say? Like, first of all, Kadeo, uh, pardon me for speaking for you here, but you're gonna set the boat down, uh, momentarily. Uh, uh, Nick, bro, what would you like to do at this point? Um, I guess I would, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd have to ask today if you know if, uh, he, she, they, mm. uh, which, uh, where, uh, where can we get something to eat around here? I mean, I see a perfectly good chicken here, but other than that, uh, no, I, I feel like, uh, Kade, you would know that there is a pig elsewhere on the island as well. Don't touch my pig. Named Bacon. <laughs> Don't touch my pig. Uh, Nick, okay, it's not at, available. Nick, bro, it's at this point that you've noticed that Kadeo is jacked. And, I mean, obviously, they just picked up a boat, uh, but also they're completely covered in tattoos. The stick and poke kind. Ouchie, ouchies. Mm -hmm. Pretty rad ink you got there, bro. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what... Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Um, um, I did it myself. You you see on on their tattoos, there's a little version of themselves, and it's like break dancing. <laughs> it's like tattooception. Yeah, yeah. It's and, and I don't mean it's a tattoo of a version of themselves break dancing. It's literally a tattoo of themselves in the motion of break dancing, as though it is alive on their skin. <laughs> it's getting complicated. <laughs> yeah, they're uh. Ah. They have a mind of their own. They do it. Uh, as Kodeo, uh flexes their biceps, their mighty biceps, the little tattoo version jumps from bicep to bicep and blows Nick bro a kiss. Yeah. Dude, that's totally hot. Hey, man, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, fantastic, Nick bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Uh, is at this point that the storm is moving ever closer. Oh dang! Well, just I'm I'm lost at sea. I washed up here. I don't know where I'm going but right now. It looks like there's a storm coming, so probably need to find some place to shelter down, dog. I figured you'd know where that'd be around here. Yeah, there's a cave in here. Um, if you want to come over again, just don't touch don't touch my pig, but. Um, we can go hunker down in this cave. Sure, will... that sounds pretty cool. And don't worry, I'm good with the pig. I have this chicken I've become attached to really recently, and I don't want him to go nowhere neither. Hey, hey! Uh, you all head over to the cave. When you arrive to it, um, you do see Kodao's pet pig, Bacon. Um, oink, oink. It clears his throat before then proceeding and saying... <laughs> Oink, yeah. oink, oink. He wants uh, to make sure that he does his best. I get and it. it looks delicious, Nick, bro. I'm telling you, this thing is just ripped with <laughs> side fat and haunches and pig's feet and whatever it else is that people like about pigs. It's really rad and healthy and totally, <laughs> like, 
A plus side of pork you got there, dude. Uh, Kodeo, would you like to do anything at this point now that you guys are in the cave? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am going to, um, kind of come up to him and like get pretty close to him and kind of be like looking in his eyes. <laughs> Sensual. Cody, can you give me a roll for that? 14. 14. All right. Uh, whatever it is about Nick, Nick, bro, you feel entranced by, you stare deeply into his eyes and he stares into yours in return. And there is something in the air here. Uh, Nick, bro, what, what would you like to do? Um, I don't, dang, like, this is a very awkward position you put me in. <laughs> but, uh. So, hey, uh, it's, it needs to get a little, um, like, it, this, this cave can get a little chilly. Like, do you, I'm gonna oh. probably go get something. I just need to go grab something, if that's okay. Um. <laughs> Is that okay? Like, can you can you watch the cave for me really quick? This sure thing, bro. I can do not a problem. Thanks. Come on, bacon. And I call the bacon whatever and I the kind cake. of tension is in the air um, leaves with Kadeo as her and Bacon depart the cave. Uh, Nick, bro, you'll notice that there's not much in the cave other than a big stone statue of Kadeo themselves. Um, you and Hey Hey are otherwise just surrounded by nothingness in the cave. Kodeo, however, Cody, uh, yeah. what are you doing when you exit the cave? Yeah, so I exit the cave and then I pull aside some ivy that uh, was hiding a boulder and I roll the boulder in front of the door. Oh, can you roll for that for me? Eight. Eight. Let's see how Nick Bro does. Uh, you're gonna try to roll the boulder in front, and you'll get it about halfway before, Nick, you notice that the boulder is being rolled in your way, or <laughs> rolled in the way to block you in. Uh, you do notice it. It's about, only about halfway closed at this point. What would you like to do? I'm gonna see if I can run over there and, like, slip out from between it. Okay. Uh, success! You baseball slide like you're in the majors, <laughs> and you slide through like Indiana Jones style through. Um, unfortunately, Hey Hey is still in the cave. Hey Hey, because you didn't pick up Hey Hey. Who's Hey Hey? It's Josh. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Josh is still in the cave. Uh, and you hear Josh behind muffled Josh behind the boulder. Woo -hoo! Oh, hey, um. I, you should have stayed in there. I mean, I was just making sure that you were warm while I went and got some stuff for firewood. Uh, if you want to go back in there, that's that'd be great. Nah, uh, that's not, nah, bro. That's cool. Like, I was planning to do some push-ups <laughs> to get warm. Like, yo, you can't just like close the door. It's like a major priority foul, man. I don't understand what any of that means. <laughs> I, don't, okay. I don't either. Um, the storm is nearly upon thee. Um, it is raging, and you guys are both feeling the intense wind coming off of it as it approaches the island. Uh, and large droplets of rain are starting to uh, occasionally smatter the ground around you. All right, looking for firewood's going to go a lot faster with two of us doing it, so I'm going to get to it, too. Yeah, if you want to look on that side of the island, that'd be great. Sure thing, dog. On my way. Yay. <laughs> I pointed to the side that's not where the boat is. Teamwork. Um, okay, good. Mm, good day, Al. Teamwork. Uh, I need a prize card for Nick, please. See, but I'm also in this now, so I don't want him to have a good one. Let's see. 
Okay. So I get to pick one here, huh? Mm -hmm. Take the one with the green stripes. I like green. Okay. Uh, you are able to use the force for nine, for five minutes. <laughs> wow. Uh, Crap. Nick, bro, while you're searching that side of the island, you encounter a small little gremlin man in a tree who teaches you how to you get in touch with with uh, the metachlorians in your blood, and you're able to control what is essentially the force, uh, at least temporarily. Um, wowie zowie. Sorry, I just I picture like doing this whole training montage and then just be like, oh, damn, dog, I forgot to look for wood for the fire. I Yeah, he's like riding on your back, and he's like, mm, in touch with yourself, you must be. Mm. Um, right, well, thanks for all that, bro, but, like, it's gonna start raining here pretty hard. Like, unless you got some firewood, you can help me find. A little we bit redundant, moving. since you have 11 powers to boot, but, you know, it always <laughs> helps to have more <laughs> knives. Your... backup powers. Yeah, it, has, it, it always helps to have more knives in your drawer, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep it, you know, when one blade dulls, another one is brought out. Um... Kadea, well, while he's doing? doing his, yeah. yeah, while he's doing his training montage. You love to work I'm... out, Nick, bro. I'm checking out the boat and okay. uh, sitting in it and starting to leave with it. Okay. Uh, you found that there is some fruit packed away in a compartment on the boat. Okay. Uh, you don't need to roll for this. You're a big, strong uh, demigod. You can push off with the boat. Sure uh, did. And you do. Um, yep. You push off with the boat. Let's see if Nick happens to sense a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Uh, Nick, you sense a disturbance in the force. Uh, something is wrong, and it is in the direction of where you left the boat. I, uh, I, I take off over there. Uh, you cool. arrive just in time to see... Uh, Kadea would be, I don't know, like chest, neck deep in the ocean as they're slowly but steadily uh, pulling away from the shore. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, like if you want to use my boat, that's fine, but maybe you should wait till after the storm, all right? And like, you know, let me know so I can go with you, huh? Um, I mean, I don't know if I can trust you. Uh, <laughs> and I really need this boat. Says the person who stole the boat and tried to like <laughs> really close them up humans. in a cave. Yeah, okay. I don't really trust um, humans. If but only we had the what? time to delve into that. You know what? I uh, I'll try. I'll. I guess I'll trust you. I was just kind of testing it. You know, like I was uh, just trying to see, like well, if I if I like I, it. So I'm. I'll, I'll come back. Okay. Well, as you come back, you notice that the storm is. I mean, it's the it's here. Yeah. Rain is starting to pound. The wind is raging, and as you both look up into it, you see the towering inferno that is. Taka, Taka's fiery body billows black smoke as her golden rage-filled eyes emanate heat, and she screams a, a just a scream. I ran out of verbs and objectives. Sorry, I, I, I cover my ears. It's not like a damaging scream, but it is. Ah. <laughs> it is. It is loud and terrifying. You know what, Cody? Give me a roll. Three. Oh, Nick. Oh, I need a death card for Nick. Oh no. Oh that's no. A, that's a nat one. That's bad news. Get out of here. Uh, okay. We have... I swear to God, if this is a, a Cody's choice again... It's not. I don't know what this is. That's a death <laughs> card? Oh, yeah. I did put some good ones in there. Okay. Uh, Nick, bro, you are so scared that utilizing some of the training you received from the tree gremlin, uh, you <laughs> substitution jutsu away. A, 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 a thick... Uh, White smoke appears and a log appears where you once were, and you can teleport anywhere on the island that you wish, or anywhere within sight. I'll even give you. 
I don't I don't know why you would want to teleport in, in the middle of the ocean, but uh, up to you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm uh I'm going to teleport to the highest point. Well, yeah, yeah, highest point on the island. Okay, Just you are now on the highest point of the island. It, I wouldn't call it a mountain per se, more like a yeah. a, a a large hill. You know, it's actually uh. Where the cave was, where you two were walking towards earlier, it's actually the large hill that that cave is inside of. Uh, you're now on top of there. Kodeo, you see this. You see... Um, I'm hearing some crazy noises in the background. Uh, in real oh, life. sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's not you. Um, oh, good. It's my, my, my son's in the other room barking like a dog for some reason. Uh, but, anywho... You see this, you see this log appear where he once was, and you are horrified. You are so scared that your knees are trembling. Like you could almost pass out from fear. You're so scared at this point of at seeing Taka. Okay. Uh oh shit. Uh I'm gonna try and go and hide in my cave and put the close the door. Uh, you're going to get a disadvantage for this one. Yeah, it's it's unfortunately, uh, you make a break for your cave, but you don't make it. You make it just several meters before you trip on your own feet and land in the sand. And now, it's Taka's turn. Taka sees... Uh, Sees you, Kadea, mm-hmm. face down in the sand. Mm-hmm. Uh, she does not, however, see Nick Bro on the ma- on the hill, whatever we want to call it. Roll for initiative. Cody, give me a roll. Seven. All right. Uh, Nick Bro, you're going to go first. Okay. Then, then Taka, and then, uh, or excuse me, then Kadeo, and then um, Taka. So, Nick, bro, you're up. What do you want to do? You, this monstrous, towering inferno of a creature, is probably, I would say, rapidly approaching. Um, it's not capable of flight you don't see legs or anything like that it's literally pull like again huge a couple store at least a couple stories tall and how big do you would you say the kai is cody like i'm it's, trying to think of like a building or something her like, her head is like, like the Statue size of, liberty. Of, of like a big ass van yeah she's like statue of liberty size yeah she's big uh but she is okay yeah, but you don't see, like, legs or anything holding up. All that stuff's kind of enshrouded by the smoke of fire. But the way she uh, is crawling towards Kadeo is a mad scramble with her hands. Like, she's just just crunching at the ground in front of her, just hair and ass towards, towards them with the quickness. Like, it is the scariest thing you'll see all day. But you're going to get to go first here. What would you like to do? Well, first I'm used on the fact that, dang, Master Jiraiota didn't tell me what to do about fighting kaiju. Just tell me uh, how to move rocks around. Before <laughs> you go any further, in your head, you hear a voice that says, Nick, bro, the Force use you. All right. Sounds like a good plan. I'll use the Force to cast a... Do a Jedi mind trick or cast a genjutsu or something. I'm really confused about what power set okay. I have here. You you don't need to roll for this, um, but this does start the timer on how long you can do use the Force for, which was for five minutes. Okay. Uh, if you're trying to use a Jedi mind trick, you need to tell me what you're trying to to trick them into doing. Like, what are you saying into their minds? Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to, since I see that she's going for my absolute best buddy in the whole world uh, <laughs> that I just met, uh, Kadao, like, I'm going to try to be like, 
try to trick her into uh, not being able to see Kadea. Like I don't know, how, like if force works like that. It's kind of like a you don't see the big guy on the beach, doesn't it? Don't they do the whole like? Kind of. It's like it's, but it's more like it's a. Like these are not. You the don't droids care. For... Yeah, you don't yeah. care about the guy on the beach. Yeah, it's yeah. honestly like it's it's more akin to I don't know if either of you have read the Hitchhikers of the Galaxy series. Like I feel like it's more akin to the somebody else's problem field. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, Taka roll a disadvantage here to see if uh, they can make this saving throw. Oh, that's an easy loss. I mean, those are so, <laughs> some of the lowest double rolls you'll see ever. It's a, at a two. Um, so Taka's gonna hear that whisper in the back of her mind that says not to care about their new best friend on the sand because unfortunately you said in your mind, "Hey, leave my best friend on the sand like you don't care about them." So now Taka thinks that Kadeo is her best friend now for some reason. But also, <laughs> she, doesn't, swayed. she doesn't care, um, <laughs> at least for the time being. Uh, Kadeo, you're up next. Uh, this is where I would mention that having seen the movie Moana would have come in super duper handy. Yeah, unfortunately, since I have not. But it's okay, because uh, Nick Bro is a total himbo anyway. So That's true. It's okay. <laughs> Um, I'm still face down on the sand, so I roll over and I, like, kind of, like, wipe the sand off my face. And at this point, I don't know that what's going on with them. Like, I don't realize that Taka is not, uh, pissed at me anymore or whatever. So I'm just like, hey, Taka, my buddy, how's it going? Long time no see. Taka, hey. Taka, in now that she's had a kind of a change of mind, uh, she's gonna come to a scrambling halt before you, uh, and then just like, just deadpan stare at you, just and just slightly shake her head like she just could not care less about your bullshit right now, like kind of like the way you look at a Starbucks employee who's giving you guff and spelled your name wrong, <laughs> and then they got your order wrong after they made you wait fifteen minutes. I don't, I, I just take the bad order and just leave and drink it and be happy because I've worked in, I, I do work in coffee. So I understand that sometimes it do be a bad uh, day. So. Katao is allergic to coffee in this exercise. Um, okay. And Taka <laughs> is not willing not to chocolate. listen to your Hot pleas. Tea. Ew. Taka is not, not willing to listen to your pleas of uh, getting the wrong order or your name misspelled. Um. I'll let, I'll let you, like, you said, hey, what's up, what are you doing? Like, do you want to follow that up with anything? Uh, how's life been? You're looking good. You're looking, you're looking fit. You've been going to the, you've been going to the, the island that has those rocks that you can take off and throw and put down? Uh, Taka snorts and, like, it's like a charcoal fire, like, the smoke flows past you. It's like a snort. snort funny or no? It's like a snort of discontent, like a I'm just a frustrated <laughs> snort. And now it's going to be the cause turn. Uh, I'm going to have her roll to try and break free of the Jedi mind trick here at disadvantage. Oof. Um, she is going to slowly but surely uh, break free. From your grasp. However, it will take her a full turn to do so. She is starting to isolate in her mind uh, that something is not quite right. And somebody's up there messing with her. And she's going to start mentally working on kicking that entity out. Um, sure enough. Uh, but, Nick Bro, it is your yep. turn. Okay, I like... I'm going to, in a moment of either genius or stupidity, whether uh, I'm going to try to get uh, Kadeo's attention because, like, okay. it's kind of like I went through all that trouble to put a brain whammy on, you know, Takao and, like, uh, like kind of messing it up. So, uh, because I'm far away, I pull out that glowing, I'm like, I have this glowing green rock. I'll wave it in the air to get his attention so he sees me. I'm so glad she you sees remembered me. that. Cody, can you give so, me a roll? Mm hmm. One. Unfortunate. Uh, you go to pull out the uh, Heart of Defeaty, and as soon as you pull it out, it 
flings from your hand. Oops. And it goes tumbling down the mountain. Or the big hill, whatever we established. Shit! Do I see it? Uh, I'm working on that right now. Okay. Taka does not see it. Kadea, you do in fact see it. Um, also, the the appearance of the heart of Tafiti and its sudden hitting of the ground and rolling down has also summoned what appears to be a giant crab that's about <laughs> the size of oh, oh how big is how big is Tamatoa? Um easily five stories tall. It's a giant crab covered with treasure and gems and jewels all over its back. And it want oh boy, does it want that heart of Tafiti? Uh, but Kadeo, your it is your turn. It will be a, another full turn before Tam Tamateo can get involved. Mm. Sorry, I was googling uh, why Maui did what he did. Um, it was to give it to the humans so mm. that they could have the power to control life. It says ultimately he did it simply because he could. Well, yeah, but he also went to steal it to give them the power of life because he did he re he desired their approval. Um, I don't, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. You don't would know. know. Okay. As Kateo, you would know. But like, I I don't. In the movie, I don't know if Maui knows that Taka is Tafiti, does he? Because it says that he was attacked by Taka after, like, no. as he was leaving Tafiti's island. You're correct. So, how would I know? Thank you for, well, you would know that the, what the heart, I, I meant you would know. I would know what it Tafiti. is. I know yeah, what it is. You would know the significant, significance of the heart of Tafiti and that, and how important it is. Yeah. Is what I mean. Um, okay, well, I see it, and, um, I see it tumbling down the mountain, uh, and I heard, I hear Nick saying something, yelling, mm -hmm. um, and since Taka is just standing there and not really doing anything, um, and this, the heart has been missing for a hot minute, um, and I know the last time that Taka and I met, it, we were fighting over it. Uh, I'm gonna run and try and grab it. Uh, success. As the Heart of Defeaty comes pinging down, ting, 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 down, down the, the hill, uh, you're able to run, uh, you know, um, towards it. Uh, this would be to the right of Tika, your left. Uh, you run, and you're able to dive and catch it before it hits the ground proper. Uh, you catch it, and you see a, sm a faint shimmer of light as you uh, grab it there. Um, of course, now uh, it is, in fact, Taka's turn. She succeeds in shaking off the Jedi mind trick, and she is pissed off. She also sees that, because, I mean, you're in clear view... She saw you run to the side and just grab the hard defeaty. She she sees it. She mm -hmm. sees that you have it. She already knows that she doesn't like you. You're she's mm -hmm. not your biggest fan. And mm -hmm. boy, she wants that heart of Tafiti. She is going to lunge at you uh, and attempt to swipe you with one of her massive hands. But Don't catch those hands. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, her depth perception from having her being mind fucked by a Jedi uh, are a little bit off, and she swings high and completely whoosh. But you feel you feel like the bottom part of her hand go right over your head, like you were almost decapitated. Some singed hairs there missed you clean completely. Uh, next. Tamateo is finished emerging from the realm of monsters deep within the ocean. Give me the heart of Tafiti! I need it! So, it's not something like that. 
uh, and he starts charging it. Um, at this point, Nick, bro, it is back to you. All right. Well, um, I don't know who. Obviously, I, I was trying to, you know, introduce it in a way that wasn't super meta or mm-hmm. you know, significant. Uh, but like, all I know is that I drop my shiny rock, and there's a giant enemy crab. Yeah, there is a giant enemy crab. So I'm gonna start like running down the mountain, uh, trying to catch him, like yelling at Kadeo. Yo, look out! There's a giant enemy crab. Because <laughs> I know I already spoiled the punchline, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, Cody, Kadeo, give me a roll. <laughs> well, I'm Cody. I'm not Kadeo. Cody, who plays the char- the famous character Kadeo in the famous 14. show Let's Die. Uh, as 14, okay. So as you're running down, you do successfully warn Kadeo of the oncoming, the other oncoming threat. Um, uh, but you also trip, and as you trip, you go over a ledge. When you go over a ledge, you actually land in such a way on the top of a coconut tree that you bend it. So imagine, look at my arm. <laughs> you land on top of the coconut tree. It goes like, like 14. It goes like this, and then the tension of that then springs you back up, launching you into the air, bang, and you land on top of the back of Tamatea, amongst all of the riches on its back, uh, gold, I mean, bars, uh, cutlery, uh, plates, paintings, whatever, whatever kind of treasure you can imagine, it's there, including uh, a big ass fish hook and by big ass fish hook i mean this thing is like the size of kadeo him themselves um and it calls to you all right well then i'm going to uh go go with my himbo into intuition and grab hold of the uh of the fish hook uh also the tree gremlin said fish hook you must take uh (laughs) However, it's now tutorial dog. it is Kadeo's turn. Kadeo, uh, what would yeah, you I'm... like to do now that you um, have uh, narrowly avoided being smushed to bits? Yeah, uh, I'm kind of screwed because uh, mm-hmm. Taka is very aware of me and obviously remembers me. Mm-hmm. Um now and i am holding the thing that we fought over last time and also after uh nick bro yells i look up and i see freaking tomateo um yeah i'm like this freaking guy you, you also see what happens thereafter nick bros yeah yeah somehow being launched by a coconut tree onto his back <laughs> and picking yeah, yeah, up yeah. what you clearly recognize as your magical fish hook Yep. So, um, so I go from whole crap dodge. Mm-hmm. I gotta get out of here. Turn, see giant crab, be like, oh, my this guy, this fucking guy, to looking on top of him and being like, oh, my hook, that's mine, that is mine. Uh, and so I yell at Nick and I'm like, that's mine. Like, can you throw, like, throw it to me? I'm gonna catch it. And, I'm, and I start running towards the crab hoping that nick can okay curl uh, my, my hook at nick, me bro um, i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you uh make a decision based on after hearing that what would you like to do after hearing that uh well uh again uh in his obliviousness nick bro has no reason to distrust uh yeah. Kadeo. so i'm gonna use the force again to uh you know, line up the shot and try to throw this hook. Beautiful. Um, Cody, this isn't a regular roll. Give me two rolls. This will be with advantage since he's using the force. Three. Mm. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, success. Utilizing the force, you throw the fish hook, but, I mean, it's not, like, a throw. You're, like, force pushing this thing. It goes... <laughs> shoots from Tomateo's back, who goes... Hey, that's mine! <laughs> and it flies past him straight into Kadeo's grip, who grabs it and hoists it into the air. Yeah. And then oh. turns into... Uh, 
Turns into a turtle. Just an, <laughs> a, no, a normal sized turtle. <laughs> bro, bro, what? Uh, it's now Taka's turn. Uh, Taka uh, is going to see this occur um, and is going to attempt to hammer fist a little baby Kadao turtle. So she's going to put her two hands to get fiery fists together and she's going to come swinging from overhead in just an, a downward hammer axe fist. Uh, let's see how she does. Son of a bitch. Uh, you're so small, though, compared to Daka, that her fists erupt on the ground near you. Does not hit you directly. However, the shockwave is so so brutal that it makes you fly back. Uh, I don't know. I don't ten meters, and you clink around on your little turtle shell, Kadeo. It is now going to be Tamateo's turn. I'm so shiny, like a shiny crab, shining that's shiny, uh, is what he's saying. He's very one-track minded. Um, he trips over his many legs and being distracted <laughs> by the. Uh, Theft of his hook, what he claims was his hook, and as well as just the bewilderment of being in the presence of the heart of defeaty, all of these things. Um, he just trips over his own big dumb crab legs and he comes crashing to the ground, sending you, uh, Nick Bro, flying, but you roll harmlessly enough uh, onto the sand. Uh, now it is back to Man, all Nick this Bro. gymnastics I took was it's a good move. That's right. All those midnight runs and <laughs> fighting demogorgons and ghost faces. Ghost faces. Alright, so um so the crab leg trips. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I'm looking around, I'm seeing yeah, it's Anger God. It's gonna take him at least uh, another one of his full turns to, to fully upright himself. He's gigantic. I mean, we're talking yeah. kaiju crab here. Yeah, I was I was gonna say, does he have a a, a glowing weak point I can hit for massive damage? But no. like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it, even if he did. I mean, he his back is totally covered in treasure. Like you, even if he did, you wouldn't be able to find it in time. That makes any sort of sense. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna like make a beeline for my uh for my buddy Turtle Kadeo uh, Kade because like. Dude just turned into a turtle, and that's whack. And uh, that's whack. <laughs> I don't. I don't want him to get smushed because I like turtles. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm running for him. I do want to mention that Tomateo does have one missing leg. Uh, I will say that probably led to part him part being somewhat unstable as well. Just, ah. just, just for knowledge's sake here. Um, sure, uh, you can do that, Cody. Give me a roll. For, for Nick, bro. Six. Uh, you're not going to make it in time before it's time for uh, Kadeo's turn. So, Kadeo, you see Nick, bro, running towards you. Uh, I'm he, coming, buddy. Yeah, uh, that's what you see. What would you like to do? <laughs> you are a turtle, I might add. You pop your little little turtle legs and turtle head out, and yeah. uh, the heart of Tafiti, it was like, lodged in your neck hole, so when you pop your little head out, it's just kind of on top of your head. Cute. I am um, No, you're more than cute. Um, I... Oh. Uh, I mean, am I still near my hook? Oh, yeah, you still have it. Okay, I'm gonna try to change into something else. So, you should... It should be noted that when you use the hook to change forms, it kind of, like... A, a, amalgamates into your new form and does not reappear again until you take a human form. Uh, you're going to try and change into what? Uh, gosh, what do I want to change into? I always thought this was a weird part of the movie. Like he, 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 he is seemingly can turn into anything, right? Like, so why didn't he turn into a giant crab at any point? <laughs> no metagaming. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 
Yeah, he, I, I mean, I'm trying to be a, like a hawk. I, I tell you what, let's, you want to be a hawk? Yeah. Okay. Like, a, like, an, like some type of sea eagle. Sea, sea, a seagull? A sea eagle. <laughs> uh, bad news, that's a bad role. You're, you're going to try and turn into a sea eagle, but you actually turn into a seagull. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't a bay or you'd Stop be a bagel. It, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> Stop it, please. Uh, I love that song so much. Nick, have you heard that song? I feel like I have. It's not like. Seagulls. Stop it. Now. Now. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seagulls in the life. Uh, uh, see, so my, so my little gremlin trainers come back. He's doing a little. He's, da he's dancing in the cave right now. Yeah. Uh, singing his song. Um, yeah, this is he's totally oblivious to what's happening here at this point. But uh, yeah, you're a seagull and the heart of Tafiti is in your beak. Uh, next, it's going to be... We're going back, going back to Taka. She's pissed. I bet. Oh, no. Uh, so you've turned into a seagull, but she sees a really handsome strapping himbo running across the sand towards you, <laughs> and she is going to try to swipe at him, and that is going to hit. Uh, Nick, bro, you feel the massive, fiery paw of Taka as it slams against your body and sends you flying i mean uh, several hundred yards into the into the ocean into the water Lame. water just, uh, yeah i mean you go <laughs> you go team rocket blasting off again <laughs> I, I i use the force to try to not die oh very okay i'll give you that uh cody can you give me two rolls please for advantage nine two Nine and two. So I'm going to say you're going to be able to use the fourth force to soften the the blow that you received from Taka and the blow you would receive from landing into the water enough that you don't lose consciousness. But it hurt. It hurt a lot. Like you're not like you don't have any broken bones or anything. But damn, shit stung. Uh, next, it's going to be Tematoa, and he's going to spend his turn just trying to get back up. Oh, you stupid little human things uh and then we're back to nick bro i'm gonna say you probably need a turn to get back to the beach so we'll come back to you and kadeo you're up um I'm trying to remember maui's powers uh <laughs> you pretty much like got at this it. point at this point i have i have my hook I have the heart of Tahiti, yep. and I can fly. Um, but there is a human, Nick Bro, that just got like walloped, um, and like I, he is handsome, and I've been really lonely. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna against my better judgment, like have a war with myself of like fly away and be free finally and not have to be oh, on the goodness. island anymore and have the heart of Tafiti or, you know, save this human. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I rolled because I was even or odds based on like one thing was going to be odd and one thing was going to be even. Um, and yeah, I, I, I kind of like caw like around the mountain, like, <sighs> and I like turn around <laughs> and I uh, start going straight for Taka to try and distract her. Um, okay. You're doing this with the heart of Tafiti still in your mouth? Still in my mouth. I mean, I'm not going to drop it. Mm. Do I drop it? <laughs> I'm going to say that you are able to distract Taka by flying around her, but you are uh, you try to call, but you are unable to as long while right. while the uh, while the heart of Jafiti is in your mouth. But she is desperately going to be grasping for that heart in no time here, and mm -hmm. she's going to try and do that. She's going to try and just grab your little bird body and crush you, so she can have the heart for herself. Oh, uh, she punches herself in the face. 
Yeah. <laughs> she swings wildly back and forth until eventually she just goes bah, and just smacks herself right in the face and she's going to crash to the ground. Um, then it's going to be Tamatoa's turn. Uh, and Tamatoa is going to also uh, swing for you as well. He's going to miss. He's a lot slower, clumsier, and... Um, not as dexterous as, or frenzied for that matter, as Taka, but he misses as well. Uh, Nick, bro, you are up. You are just picking yourself back up on the beach. You've just got back to the to the action. All right. Um, man, I'm, like I, I feel I feel really kind of out of my depth with all these kaiju hanging around. Not gonna lie. Like. Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna take off uh down like I'm gonna kinda Oh, I I I wave to uh today I was like you toss me the gym, I'll make a run for it. What are you gonna run to? Uh he he hasn't thought that far ahead. Come on. <laughs> okay. Give him some credit, he's an idiot. I mean I'll uh, allow that. Kadeo, you hear hear him say that. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna do you wanna do that? Um, try and make a run for it. That's that's what the, that's what the man said. I don't. Think you gonna end up running work. in circles around the island. You probably shouldn't listen to it. No, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna like they're not gonna. You know, Tomato is about to flip back over, and then he's not bound by the like. There's nowhere that's safe now that they're both here. Like mm -hmm. we have to find a way to. I would say, I mean, Nick bro, that I mean, poo, 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 poo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means, dog. You can see the seagull me. I'm like, no. Um, Nick, bro, I will say that you you probably only have enough time left for one more force action before it runs out entirely. Um, yeah, it's very clear that Kadao is not not on board with your plan of I'll make a run for it. <laughs> I'll I'll let you do something else though if you want to. It's just like you know, this is not a situation where I have uh, anything I can do. I guess like this one, just be like, yo, just give the crazy lady her green rock. Like it ain't worth it, man. Um. Meanwhile, uh, your tree gremlin is in the cave singing, oh, ha, 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 and hey hey is pecking at his head. And he goes, oh, hey hey, stop it now. <laughs> um, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, uh, so then Josh? it's going to be uh, Kadeo's turn. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh, gosh. Um, I would recommend something with the heart of Tafiti. Yeah, it's it's gonna the basically. So at this point, I acknowledge that this the heart is the problem. Right, like neither of these things are gonna go away without the heart going away. Uh -huh. Um, and I can give it to one of them, and then they'll fight each other, and then I can get Nick and I to safety in our cave. So, okay. Um, I don't have a ton of beef with Tomatoa, um, but well, I do you, want to you did chop his leg off in a previous encounter many 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 many, many no, years ago no, he yeah remember and he that. also stole your fish hook after that but, like, but this no, is all preamble yeah, yeah yeah this was in the prequel yeah we don't have <laughs> no, i just i don't know i just the 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 creature that i have the most animosity towards right now is Taka, and so i'm gonna mm. try and like ease that by uh flying close to her and dropping the heart of Tafiti like onto her head or something like onto you're her. you're just gonna give it to her after all this time of her trying to get it and you keeping it away from her you're just gonna give it basically to her like, like me holding on to it like i am now invested in this human okay so you're Timbo. choosing to take the l on the heart of Tafiti if it means saving you and your new companion I stole it once. I can steal it again. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, you don't so need yeah. a you don't need a roll for that. You're gonna drop the heart of Tafiti because the next turn is in fact to cause the heart of Tafiti lands very near her head, and she looks at it longingly and picks it up. She writes herself 
and stares down at it in the palm of her hand, finally. And then she looks up and sees Tomateo for the first time. And then fire just like erupts from her eyes as a huge grimace starts forming on her face. And he's Tomateo's like, oh, this is my cue to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> and the giant crab literally runs like hell to get out of there because the Kai, again, very, very scary. But now she has the heart of Tefiti. Let's see what she does with it. Uh, she instinctively knows that this is something that once belonged to her, and she places it into a what you guys would notice if you had cared to look a little bit closer and maybe some of the swirling smoke what, and cinders and ash weren't so in the way. But in her chest, there's a small aperture, a small hole. And she places the heart of Tefiti there. And then as she does that, her skin stops being on like molten fire. Like it turns to hard black um, rock as it starts, then starts to crack and crumble away as a beautiful green goddess of life and nature and beauty erupts from the husk that was Taka. It is Tefiti herself was in fact Taka the whole time. And without her heart, she was a cruel and tireless monster. But now that she's complete, she rises once again. I turn back into a human. Well, hey, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold no. on. I want to just see something real quick. Okay, before you do, you turn into a dingo, then you turn into a puppy, then you turn into an ox, then you turn into a chicken, hey, hey, then you turn into a bighorn sheep, then you turn into a chimpanzee, and then you turn into a human. Now go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember that order. What was the first one? Dingo. And, and I... Puppy. It's all hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was like an ox snorting for some reason. Um, hey, uh, I'm trying to remember all of the animals. They all make animal it's, sounds. It's fine. There's a couple. There's like it's a fine. string of animal sounds, and then, hey, Tafiti, how are you? Look at you with your heart back. I did that. I did that. That was me. Tafiti says nothing but just looks at you with a look of like, really, bish, you really gonna try and you really gonna try and act like you ain't the, the reason all this started to begin with? Hey She's old a six. She does she's not buying it. Yeah, she didn't buy it at all. Uh she does, however, notice Nick Bro and she scoops Nick Bro up in the palms of her hands, and then she I mean, as big as Taka was, uh Tafiti is twice as big. <laughs> this is you. A lot. You are like a tiny, you're like a thimble person in the palm. Of, yeah, you're like the size of a dice in her hand. And she lifts you up to her face and kisses you. And her lips basically <laughs> take up your whole body. And, and your <laughs> wounds are healed instantly. She then gives you like a, a, a loving look as she places you gently down next to um, Kadeo. And uh, she literally just kind of lays down and goes to sleep and becomes a mountain range. <laughs> and folks... Brad, bro, that escalated quickly. De-escalated folks, quickly, too. Nick, bro, you start to see the waviness. Um, uh, like a mist, like almost like reality starting to warp in and out of itself. Uh, just just as... Just as Kodeo is like turning to you and reaching for you and like lovingly, uh, like right. Um, as the simulation ends, you wake up in a in a test tube, just like you were before. The simulation has ended, but you'll notice that in your hand, where where you were reaching out to Kodeo, is a magical fish hook. To be sick, dude. Bad. Yeah, I was I was reaching out to give a fist bump. Like that's what <laughs> I was not coming in for a fist bump, my dude. <laughs> so uh thanks for playing. That's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Die. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow Cody Mathis at a uh, Lunar Beagle Cody bug nope. person. <laughs> 
at Cody Mathis on Twitter, hiking Beagle B E E on Instagram. Yep. Um, also on the harvest season, also on it's super effective. Also sometimes on after dark guy. Yeah. And, uh, check us out on, uh, let's die pod on Twitter, Instapod dog on Instagram and send us an email. Why not? Let's die pod at gmail.com. And you can check out Nick on his, uh, deviant art. You can check him out on, uh, 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 his Patreon, patreon.com slash Nicodemus Rex. Did I get that right? Yes. Um, Instagram slash Nicodemus Rex is also the other place. I've yeah. Links in the description lately. as always. And if we're gonna die, let's, let's uh, die. <laughs> let's die oh, together. Uh, well, no, 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 no. If we're no. gonna die, then I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see the humans never change. Slow down, never change. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me. It's Kadeo. Breathe it in. I know it's a lot. The hell, the bod. When you're staring at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome? For the time, the fun. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. It's just in for the name Two thumbs in for the sky when you were waddling. Yay high! Yay high, this guy, this you guy. don't have a karaoke. When the when night's got cold, who totally stole you? Fire from down, down below. Down below. You're looking, you're at, looking at him, yo. Oh, also, also I lie, so the sun. You're welcome. <laughs> you stretch the days and bring you fun. So my, my heart is, is the breeze. You're, You're welcome, welcome to fill, fill your sails and shake your trees. What can I say except you're welcome for the islands I pull from the sea? No need to play, it's okay. You're welcome. I guess it's just my way of being me. Welcome. Welcome. Well, well, to think of it. I can see I can go on and on. I can explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. I know it's now. It's just my day. It's not the ground. I feel the meal. I've got started a tree. Now you got coconuts. So listen, what's in the thick of it? Don't mess with the one who's gonna break over. The tapestry here on my skin. It's a map of the victories I win. Look where I've been. I make everything happen. Look at that meme, meme, meme. Now it's just tapping, 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 tapping. Well, anyway, let me say welcome. For the wonderful world you know Hey, it's okay, it's okay You're welcome Come to think of it, I gotta go So say, you're welcome Cause I'm gonna need that boat Sailing away, away You're welcome Now we can do everything to float You're welcome You're welcome and thank you! Uh, not sharing, not sharing audio. This show is brought to you by Pod Dog, the one stop shop for all your Pokemon After Dark Ride, Jaws Breakers, Let's Die, and Watchers of the Stuffed Knees. If you liked it, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash poddog or visit the link tree in the description for our Discord, Twitch handles, and socials. Pod Dog Productions. We had to keep track of all this stuff somehow. By the way, I saw this cool bar the other day. Want to go out? Hmm? I don't know who that guy is, but he sounds incredibly... Handsome. Well, I was going to say he Very sounds handsome. like he can sing like a tune, unlike me. Bye, everybody. Fantastic singer.